Butter, let's talk to you for a second, because I'm going to do something that you're going to be very happy about. Uh-oh, that looks like a dangerous bird. <laughs> it just escaped. Wow. Butter, I wish you a lot of luck. But I, I hereby grant you a full and complete pardon. Okay, so this clip um, sort, sort of shows you um, in a good-hearted way about one of the president's um, formal powers, which is the power to pardon. Um, sort of the, the lighthearted thing that the president does and traditionally has done around Thanksgiving every year is that um, they officially pardon or prevent a, a turkey. Uh, um, usually the White House does some sort of like vote on their website to determine which one the public wants to be pardoned. But that uh, turkey will be spared from the Thanksgiving dinner table and sent to a farm in Virginia to live out a happy life. Um, it's sort of like, you know, again, pokes fun at a pretty influential power the president has, which are a series of judicial powers um, that a president has. So number one, this is sort of like a check on the judicial branch the president possesses, and these are in the Constitution. A president, as the video shows, again, kind of a funny little thing, pardoning a turkey, but a president has the ability to offer convicted people total forgiveness. Um, he can basically absolve people of the crimes that they had been uh, convicted of committing. Um, there's not much of a check on the president's uh, use of this power. Um, generally, the president just needs to submit a list of the individuals that he intends to pardon, and that's carried out. There's no, like, necessarily, nobody has to approve of that. Um, interesting that most presidents, up to President Obama, um, chose to do almost all of their pardons at the very end of their presidency, if not like the last day of their presidency, because these are oftentimes controversial, and most presidents don't want this to overshadow their presidency or to hurt their presidency. Uh, Obama changed this. He used this a lot throughout his presidency, as Trump has as well. Um, so a pardon is the ability of a president to sort of forgive um, and provide absolute forgiveness for a crime that somebody had been committed of. When a pardon is given to an individual, it's a pardon. When a group as a whole is given a pardon, it's referred to as amnesty. So for example, um, Confederate soldiers after the Civil War were given amnesty, um, um, essentially like forgiveness for picking up arms against the United States. Uh, Vietnam draft dodgers in many cases um, those that um, skipped out of the country to avoid the draft were provided with amnesty um, by the presidents at the time. Presidents also have the ability to do variations of this. Presidents can issue what are called commutations. To be honest, uh, these are much more common for presidents to do than pardons. A commutation is a reduction in a sentence. So you're not forgiving anybody. Uh, you're definitely not providing forgiveness to the individual. Uh, you're still um, making it known that the person is guilty of whatever crime they were sentenced to. It's the sentence that you disagree with. You may feel like that person was too harshly sentenced by the court, um, so you essentially decide to reduce their sentence. Um, you're not forgiving them. Um, you're not saying they didn't do it. You're just saying that the sentence they were giving was too much, and you're shortening it up. Or presence could issue what we call reprieves. A reprieve is sort of like a timeout. It's a delay in an actual sentence being carried out. But um, you're told that this is the sentence that you have to serve. Uh, a president may freeze that to allow for more research or more um, investigation of maybe the details of the crime in which you were convicted of, of um, committing. So presidents can offer total forgiveness. They can reduce sentences or they can just slow down the process to buy more time. 